Hi guys, welcome back to my channel, or if you're new here, hello, my name's Melissa, it's weird I'm doing like an official intro. Oh, DHL's calling me, hang on. I just had to go downstairs and pick up some packages because the entry phone or like buzzer for my building has been broken for almost two weeks now, it's been a nightmare. I've been having such a rough go with delivery companies lately, and then this just makes it 10 times worse. Anyways, today's September 21st, so tomorrow is officially the first day of fall. And it's definitely starting to feel like fall here in Vancouver with the weather. It's just like a little bit more cool, crisp, and it's actually really nice. I'm still kind of sad that summer is ending, but this is my absolute favorite time of year. Like the end of summer going into the beginning of fall. It is perfection. So I'm trying to enjoy every day and soak up the weather we've been having. I am wanting to cozy up my house, do a few little switches for the new season. So I thought I would do more of like a home related vlog. I haven't really talked about my apartment or home decor or anything for a while. And I think two of these packages are actually related. So this one here, not super exciting, but I bought two new pillowcases because my other ones were just getting worn out. So these are the same ones that I already had. They're just replacements. They're from Magic Linen. Um, wait a minute, what? Why is there only one? Why did I think I ordered two? I swear I did. Okay, apparently I ordered one single pillowcase. Not a huge deal because when I posted about Magic Linen in my other vlog, they actually reached out and asked if I wanted to try any other products. So I decided I'm gonna add color to my bedroom and I ordered a few pieces that are like a dark rosy color. I'm not totally sure when those are arriving, hopefully soon, and I can include it in this video because that's definitely going to um, switch up the look of my bedroom. All right, let me just see what else is in these boxes I think one of them is home related i don't know what this one is oh this is from rolla's jeans um they look nice but they're skinny jeans I don't know, like this is just like not the style of jeans that I wear. This next package is from a company called Soja & Co. And they sent over some candles. We have three candles here. And this is actually one of the things that I wanted to get for fall. I'm also planning on making some more candles with like fall scents because I still have a bunch of wax and stuff. Maybe I'll make some as gifts. But let's see, we have pumpkin and tobacco. I'm pretty sure these are in amber or like dark glass jars. I'm trying to remember what they looked like. Okay, yeah, so these are in amber jars. Mm, that smells really good. But yeah, well, that was one of the things that I wanted to switch over was just getting some warmer fall scents. And I also like, like the more dark aesthetic kind of candles. So these are perfect. Um, the other scents we have here are sage and sea salt and this one is pine and Pine and cedar bark. I'm finally gonna tackle my front room I've been putting off this project for so long part of the reason was because I was waiting for shoe storage um, It took so long to get here and there was complications. It was a nightmare um, but I finally got it. I'll show you what we're working with. It's a huge mess I think I've lived here for about six months now and this area has just been a landing ground um, Whenever I bring things in I just drop them off here um, If I'm gonna bring things down into storage I leave them here and a lot of this stuff. I just don't know where to put it. I'm gonna sort it out today I'll kind of like go through everything <laughs> But also this area is just a really awkward space even when I lived here before I didn't like how I had it set up and I don't even know if I love the shoe cabinet and the bench But I can't really get an idea of what it looks like with all this stuff here Let me just like clear this out first and then we'll go from there
this is the progress for now. I think I'm gonna donate this picture frame. I'm gonna give a bunch of that product to my mom. This is candle wax, so I'm gonna make a bunch of candles and then I'll bring the rest into storage. And I might sell that mirror. I was thinking about putting it up on one of these walls, but I'm not sold on it. I don't know what to do for decor in here. Like it just seems so plain. I feel like I need to put something on the walls in here. Um, I was thinking about doing a mirror above here or do I do a picture? I also think I'm gonna get rid of this mat and then put something else in this area. I don't know, do you guys have any ideas for this room? Because I'm kind of lost with it, to be honest. <laughs> There's a few things I'm changing in my bedroom. So this is all the bedding that I have right now and I like it, but I've just had this situation for several years now. So we're gonna be switching up some of the colors on here. I got these curtains from Amazon and they're just too stark white compared to the rest of the room. I don't know if you can really see. Honestly, it doesn't look as bad in the camera, but they're just like super white, more cool toned. They also have silver rings on the top and I don't have any silver in the room. The metal in this room is like a bronzy, like antique bronze. So I have new curtains coming. And then over here, I need to get a new laundry basket. I think I'm gonna get a wicker basket. I think it'll just look nice with the colors. And it's also broken. This metal thing is sticking out and I actually have a scar on me because I've cut myself on that several times. So that's gotta get thrown out. And then the other thing we need to redo is just the top of this dresser. I like this lamp, but I don't really have anywhere to put it. So I'm gonna get rid of those. I feel like I need artwork. I think I'm gonna go to HomeSense today and see if I can find any like top dresser decors. I just got back from HomeSense and I picked up two things. So I got this laundry basket. I saw this last time I was there and I thought that it might be too big, but I think it's gonna work. I'm either gonna keep this in this corner here or on that wall where I have the old one. Um, but I need to get rid of that one. But I definitely think this is gonna look better. I found this print and I'm actually obsessed with it. It's supposed to look like a painting, but it's definitely a print. I feel like it's moody and kind of sad, but at the same time, it's cozy and somehow thought provoking. <laughs> I don't know, what do you guys think? I just really liked it and the frame is great. This vintage bronze matches my side table lamps. I also have a little bit of copper like on my, the handles for my like bedside tables and dresser, but I feel like it goes. I really like this. I'm gonna try it on top of the dresser. Let's see how it works. I don't know if I'd put it up on the wall or if I would just leave it leaning. I haven't hung up anything on my walls since I got them painted. I think I'm gonna keep it there. Um, and then what am I gonna put on the rest of it? Okay, I used to use this for my perfumes, but I keep my perfumes in the bathroom now. But I like how this takes up some of like the space on top. So that's just a little plant I had hanging around. This is one of those candles I just got. Um, but then what should I put over here? I do need jewelry storage, so I could put some sort of jewelry thing over there. But I think this looks kind of cute. I was also thinking about getting like a mini lamp or something. I'm very excited to get rid of this. It is just a safety hazard and unsightly. I'm gonna pop this in here. Oh my gosh. Like, why am I keeping it here? I think it should be over there. I also might move my dice in. I don't like how it's right by the door. I had this salt lamp in my living room, but it, like, I hadn't planned on keeping it there. And I think this is actually perfect for here because I wanted something to brighten it up and it just makes this corner look so cozy. What do you guys think? I feel like I'm gonna leave it like that. Another thing I'm wanting to switch up are the bar stools. I don't know if you guys remember the townhouse that I lived in several years ago. I feel like I've lived in so many different places. Um, but I bought these for that unit because 
the counter bar area was really small and these are like the most compact ones I could find. And I've actually had them in like three different units now. They've actually worked pretty well for every place that I've had since I got them. Since I don't have a table, I do sit here a lot, especially if I'm getting work done. So I kind of want to get cozier chairs and I'll show you some that I'm looking at right now. These ones here are new on Structube. The color is not showing up. But this one is green. The green's looking a lot darker in the camera here. But I thought the green could be a nice pop of color because it matches with the plants. I don't really have like other colors in here, but obviously plants are green. But I just don't know if it's going to be too dark having the green chairs here. But then that room is so bright, so it's like kind of contrasted. I don't know. The other option is the beige, which looks like that. And I feel like that would look really good in here too. I don't know, I feel like the green could be more fun though. I might buy them and then exchange them if I don't like it. I love it when my bedroom is clean and I have just like the side lamps on. I think it looks so cute and cozy. I think I'm gonna keep the laundry basket over there. It looks so much better than the old one. Also, I love that it's getting darker out earlier and I can put the lights on outside. I think it's so cute. I think that's probably all the updates that I'm going to fit into this vlog. I did end up ordering the green chairs, so I'll show you those when they arrive, as well as the new bedding. If you have any ideas for the front room, let me know. I definitely need to do something with the walls because it's just super bare. But besides that, I think that's pretty much everything that I need to do with the apartment, and then it's all done. So after that, I'll do a full apartment tour. Should be coming soon. Um, and I'm gonna end this vlog here. Thank you guys so much for watching. And I'll see you next week. Say bye.